name is Benoit Le Bizet. I'm responsible for uh, Garcia Yachting Shipyard, which was uh, created about 40 years ago. Uh, typically, it's been uh, building sailboats. Uh, full aluminum sailboats is our know-how. Uh, that's what we've been doing for the last, uh, as I said, 40 years. And now, very recently, we've also decided to uh, diversify and launch uh, trawlers. And so uh, we have built a 54-foot trawler, which was introduced uh, in Cannes 2012 as a world premiere. This boat is uh, quite atypical in the trawler world uh, in the sense that it is uh, uh, really uh, very much uh, in line with what we've been doing before. It is a long-distance trawler. Uh, it's an ocean-crossing trawler uh, with a very, very fuel-efficient uh, 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 consumption. The amount of fuel that this trawler burns uh, is about uh, 3 gallons or 12 liters per hour at a cruising speed of 8 knots. And for a boat uh, that weighs about 30 tons, uh, this is something that is unheard of. The numbers I mentioned are uh, real numbers, they're actual numbers. They're the numbers that are actually used during the uh, transatlantic crossing when the, the trawler uh, went from uh, Cannes to Annapolis to be introduced in the US last fall. The fuel efficiency is one key element of this trawler. A second key element is uh, its uh, seaworthiness. Too often, uh, trawlers are uh, boats that uh, may be rolling in uh, difficult seas. And uh, so we have decided to try and, and import from our sailboat experience uh, what makes a boat really seaworthy. And uh, what makes the boat seaworthy is the combination of a keel and a rig. And uh, so on this boat, we have a long keel with about four tons of ballast. And we also have a rig, a steadying sail. Um, and the combination of those two, uh, together with some binge uh, keels on, on the side of the hull, uh, make it a very stable uh, boat. It's uh, clearly something that differentiates the trawler, the Garcia trawler, from the other trawlers. Um, finally, the, the, the third uh, uh, component of our differentiation is really the design of the boat itself. Both on the internal and on the external, uh, this boat is very different. On the external side, uh, it, it has the look of a work boat uh, with lines that have been uh, also uh, worked by a very famous designer named uh, Patrick Le Cayman, He's a very well-known specialist of the auto design uh, in, in Europe. And uh, for the uh, interior of the trawler, uh, we have decided also to uh, work with uh, some uh, reputable uh, designer. His name is Frank Darnett. And the result is a very light and airy type of uh, atmosphere and environment. Typically, uh, trawlers or traditionally trawlers are uh, today more darker. And, and so it's a bit of a difference and, and, and uh, a break uh, in that tradition. So, this boat uh, is uh, currently being exhibited in the uh, US boat shows. Uh, she will be present at the uh, Troller Fest uh, in Fort Lauderdale at the end of January and in uh, the Miami boat show mid-February. Uh, we very much hope to see you all there. Thank you.